Yeah, thank you very much. What a nice congratulations. In my future career, I think it will become much more important for me to do teaching with now my finished habilitation. Traditionally, in physics, teaching is done by doing a blackboard lecture. And I like this too, but uh, I want to have more interactions with students. And this is one of my major goals for my teaching activities. Because I think that for the students to have some additional value to visit the lecture, it's very important to have the possibility to ask questions and to interact with each other and with me. Because also they can just go to the internet and look at some online lecture. So this is certainly one of my goals for the future. And for my research, so the topic actually of my habilitation colloquium is not very indicative for my research because it has to be some, something else which is not directly connected. So I'm following mainly two branches. One of them is to look at uh, astrophysics and uh, at relativistic effects close to black holes or neutron stars and to test the theory of relativity close to such objects. One important aspect there is that you have to look at accretion disks and this is one of my research topics. And I want of course to intensify this in the next years. And the other branch is much more down to earth, so to say, so I'm also working on relativistic geodesy and in particular on relativistic effects on clocks. This is uh, sounds very different from the astrophysical branch, but actually it's connected by the methods you're using in, in both aspects. And uh, I think it's very amazing what the people who develop clocks uh, do at the moment with their research. So the, the clocks becoming better and better, and it's really amazing that you can measure tiny differences in heights by using clocks. So this is the other main branch of my research, uh, which I also want to intensify. And in terms of financial things, one of my major goals for the future is to get uh, a graduate school to Zarm and to work with PhD students on these topics. Yes, I think as a scientist it is very important to not be very disappointed if you have some bad results or if somebody is not doing something that you want him or her to do. I think it's very important just to follow your path and not to listen too carefully to all the voices who say, oh, you can't do that, you can't do that. Just follow what you want to do and what you like or love to do and I think this is the most important thing. I think this is hard to say actually, but I guess I am. I guess I am a role model, yes. In particular for, for young female students who want to become some good scientists in, in physics, because there are actually not so many um, female PhD students and, or postdocs or even professors. So I think in this respect, yes, probably I am a role model, but I don't, actually I don't feel like that, but uh, I think I am, yes. <laughs>